Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. We are looking at a problem uh, that has to do with the 5D process, but also known as the guess and check. Um, guess and check process for solving uh, word problems. So this is from CC3, and this is section 1.1.3, specifically number 1-20. So it says, solve the problem below by defining a variable, then writing an equation. If you find this too challenging, then use the 5D process or what we've also known as the guess and check process. State your solution in complete sentences. So I'm gonna do the guess and check process. I'm gonna kind of go backwards. I'm gonna use the guess and check process. Then I'm gonna define a variable, and write an equation, because that would be the other pro the way of solving this. So it says, Jabari is thinking of three numbers. The greatest number is twice as large as the least number. The middle number is three more than the least number. The sum of the three numbers is 75, find the numbers. So let's start with uh, creating that table, right? So we're gonna have, um, I'm just gonna go least, middle, and greatest. Okay, so least, middle, and greatest, and then that's, this is our guess part, right? If you remember, this is our guess. We're starting with the guess, doing some math here with those numbers. And then our check, our check is right here where it says the sum of the three numbers is 75. So the sum equals 75. That's our check. And then it wants us to find the numbers. So this is where we just start a process and we guess. So the guess, I'm going to start, I usually just, tend to start with 10 as a guess, and then see if I can go from there. So it says the greatest number is twice as large as the least. So if I guess 10 for the least, the greatest is twice. We know what twice means. Twice means two times, right? So it's two times. So if that the least is 10, the greatest is 20. Then it says the middle number is three more than the least number. So three more than the least. Three more than the least would be plus three. So if I'm going to add three to the least, that makes that 13. So the sum, 10 plus 13 plus 20. This is my check. What does it equal? Well, that equals 43. And that is too low. So I need to keep keep guessing. And, and, and I needed 75, so too low means I got to guess higher. So let's go with 20. If I guess 20 twice right the greatest is twice so twice of 20 is 40 and then i need to go the middle number the middle says it's the middle number is three more than the least so it's 23 three more than if i add those up 20 plus 23 plus 40 i get let's see what does that give me that gives me 83 now i'm too high so I wanted 75. So I know it's going to be somewhere between 10 and um, 20. So I could say maybe I'm close. So maybe I'll go with uh, 18 and see what we get with 18. So 18, twice of 18 is 36, right? So the greatest is twice. One more is 20, or excuse me, three more than the least is 21. So let's add those up. So 18 plus 21 plus 36 is equal to, let's see, so that's 39, 39 and 36. Bingo, there it is, 75, I got it. So that that's that guess and check process. So I, I have my answer, right? So now it says find the numbers, I found the numbers, 18, 21 and, 20, and 36. But up here it did say define a variable and write an equation. So how, how would that look? Well. Notice, where was I guess? My initial guess was always the least. So I'm going to call that X. And then in order to find the middle, I had to take the least and do what with it? Add three. So I added three, right? So it's X plus three. So the middle, the least number is X. The middle number is X plus three. And the greatest was twice of the least. So how do you write twice of X is two X, two times. So the equation that I would have written to do this would have been x plus x plus 3 plus 2x and that equals it needed to be equal to 75 and i can then take that equation and solve it 